What is going on everyone, Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces back today with another video and we are going to look at today's finds the ultimate Necker Gremlins Welcome back guys. So I thought I'd do a little video on these bad boys. I've been waiting for these for months. Now, I picked two of each up of the Ultimate Stripe and the Ultimate Gremlin. Um, the only reason being is I'm gonna keep one of each in the box and obviously I'm gonna open one of each. Now I know the Ultimate, the Necker Ultimate figures are quite easy to open and put back. You only have to um, open the bottom here with a knife and pull them out and everything but I thought I wanted one I wanted to keep one sealed and I wanted to open one and display one I've already got my space here on the shelf the necker shelf as you can see I'm gonna have these two here I've had to squeeze things up a little bit I've got Terminator, Robocop and Predator together on the bottom shelf Michael Myers is on his own at the minute so I'm gonna swap things around there are some more that I want to get in the coming months so guys the necker ones massive thank you as always to Craig at Nerd Base in Whitford Essex um, who got these only on Monday he's pretty much nearly sold out of them I think he's only got a couple of each left I decided to take two of each in any other toy line I would never do that it's only because it's gremlins and I wanted to have one of each like I say kept in the box so guys what I'm gonna do is is we're gonna look at in more detail so effectively a review kind of what I did with the Michael Myers video and if you haven't seen that video guys I'll put the link up about here about now so you guys can check that one out so we're going to look at the ultimate gremlin today i'm not going to open both of them and go into full detail with them um, in this video um, i will show you guys briefly through the window uh, the ultimate stripe now guys this these toys these necker figures are just getting they're just crazy i, I mean these these here are probably um i'd probably say are the best necker gremlins figures they've released and i've got every single Necker Gremlins figure here and these are probably the best ones so Stripe comes with chainsaw uh, saw blade skateboard it's a really really good figure artwork and everything's good on that one but I'm not going to go into detail on that one like I said I'll probably do that in a separate video we are going to look today at the ultimate gremlin this one was meant to be released before this but they seem to have released them at the same time which is fine again the usual uh, window box art as you can see the gremlin and guys the gremlins from gremlins one are, are my favorite stripe is my favorite so i'm just so uh, happy to add these to the collection these were on the list for 2019 um i've pretty much blown february's 200 pound budget which i was trying to stick to if you watched the previous video you'll know what i'm talking about so these gremlins obviously people are buying these in multiples because to army build them so you can have seven eight of them together uh, they come with some of the sweets a set of cards a, a jug of beer cigarette and some pop empty popcorn packets which are obviously for the ears so we are going to open this one up guys so let's get a little bit more in depth and let's swap around the camera so welcome back guys as you can see now i have opened it up i've stripped all the accessories out here I've got them laid out here on the on the table and I have the figure in my hand. Now guys, uh, the detail on these, I mean, uh, just, I don't really know what to say. They're just, they're my favourite toy so far of this year, definitely. Um, I know I'm, everyone knows I'm a massive Gremlins collector, so I'm going to be a bit biased. But guys, I mean, look at the detail on these guys. Um, I, as mentioned in the previous video I've done with the Michael Myers Halloween figure, I'm not going to push my luck too much with the joints on on these, only being because the way Necker are, um, they're known for uh, tight joints and, and breaking, L, uh, breaking arms and legs, so I'm not going to push my luck, but look, the articulation's pretty you, the usual on these, I mean this one's got mouth articulation as well, neck and head 
pretty tight um, hands. You obviously only get one set of hands and then they've got, you've got your legs and, I mean, look at the back as well, the detail, like the, the, the colouring and everything. Um, you've got the hip bit as well. So obviously the, the accessories are the ears move actually as well. So the accessories are, are quite a big part of this because there's quite a few of them. Um, you don't, you, you, the other gremlins, the previous Necker gremlins, some of them came with similar accessories. This one's still got some sellotape on it. I mean, you've got the cards here, the playing cards. Uh, you've got like a jug, pint of beer, plastic, and then you've got some chocolate bars, some made up chocolate bars, the doodah bar, and Brad's Bites, which is blatantly meant to be Skittles. You've obviously got a Coca-Cola, or just cola in this case. Got some cubes and a straw. And you've got a cigarette there, if you can see it, it's really small. And then in here, the, bit I haven't, the section I haven't opened up yet is, let's just get this open quickly for you guys. And you've got some 3D glasses in here. I know these are probably made out, yeah, so they're made out of like cardboard. So this is obviously from, the cinema scene. So you've got 3D glasses and then you've got the giant popcorns with the, the empty plastic. No, they're not plastic, sorry, they have paper. So obviously the idea is if you want to display them, let's just put these on quickly for you guys. Like this, like so. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, this is cool guys. This is, I, I mean, Price wise as well, you can't you can't beat it guys. These are retailing at sort of 30, 35 pound. Um, obviously I took four of them off of Craig, so Craig done me a, a bit of a deal and knocked off a bit of money, which is great of him. He knows obviously I'm a massive Gremlins fan and he's been really looking after me with all the NECA figures at the minute. So again, once again, massive thank you to him. But uh, guys, any, any Gremlins fans out there, any horror fans at all, I mean, I can't recommend this enough. So let's get some accessories in his hand. So here he is guys in all his glory. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I just spent quite a few minutes trying to stand this guy up. He was a bit of a pain in the ass. And as you can see, I've got the clear action figure stands that I use for all my NECA figures um, because they just help to, with, when you're putting figures on the shelf, these things sort of help to stabilize them to stop them from falling over this guy was not standing up on his own now if you look at the feet in detail they're not your usual you obviously they're claws clawed feet um, they're quite small and the figure up is very weighty from the top so he's got quite a heavy head um, so if you haven't got these stands and you buy this figure, you may have trouble standing him up unless you lean him. If you're displaying him, you might be able to sort of lean him against your cabinet or your wall or wherever you're displaying him. Um, that's the only sort of bad thing I can really say about it, to be honest with you guys. Overall, really, really nice figure, really detailed. As you can see, I've set him up at the minute with the cigarette, the, um, the cup of cola, and the chocolate bar in hand, but obviously all the accessories are down there in a minute. I'm just giving you guys a, a really good detailed view. Look at that guys, that's just great. There's not really much else I can say about it guys. Really all I can say is, get it. I, I recommend it fully, 100%. Obviously, Gremlins is my thing. And I may be being a little bit biased, but even if you're not a Gremlin fan, you can't say that the, the way this thing looks in comparison to the films, it's just great. The original Gremlins NECA toys, they started bringing out characters that weren't in either of the films. And I've, yeah, I've not really, it's sort of, it, it took it past as far as they could go. Um, but they haven't released a few versions of the Gremlins in NECA, so I'm hoping that we're going to get a version of the Vegetable Gremlin 
from Gremlins 2. I'm hoping that we'll get um, a sort of a seven inch version of, of Greta, the female Gremlin. But we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Um, I'm just super happy that these have both come out. Like I said guys, I will do a separate video on Stripe, like a little 10 minute video. I didn't want to overdo it. So I'm obviously filming this today on Saturday because tomorrow I'm at the NEC all day. So I'm hoping to see some of you guys down there. So obviously guys, if you are watching this and you ain't subscribed, please consider to do so. Don't forget I am on all social media. The links are below. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. That is where it's at. Don't forget as well to check out the website www.pizarrospieces.com I am currently having a 50% that's 5 zero, percent sale off I'm clearing out the website because I want to put some new stock on so go check it out guys as always thanks for watching the video don't forget to comment let us know what you think of these new gremlins like subscribe share all that bizzle and guys, I'll probably be seeing some of you at the NEC. And for those that ain't, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, as always.